Hi everyone, today I will be showing you different types of writing tools that I have and how I use them. Um, I am someone who's very into modern calligraphy or just brush lettering in general. I make things like this for example. Um, yeah, so I just really like doing things like this. So I love to collect a lot of different uh, writing tools and try to use them and experiment with them. So the most basic things I would say would be um, the brush pens. Uh, I have three different brands here. Um, all worked fine for me. So the first step we have here the pendle touch. I think this is like standard um, brush pen. So I have another one which is Tombow brush pen. Uh, so when I first um, getting into brush lettering, I see this brand a lot in the, on the internet and a lot of actually people recommended this. So I got this. It's a Tombow dual pen. Uh, it has two tips. This is just a normal I'll say marker tip and the other one of course is the brush and this one I will say since it's bigger and um, I still have a very hard time controlling this and I kind of running out of ink for this one so yes and the last one I have here is actually um, a Chinese brand yeah um, and I have three different tips here um, I actually have another one but I lost them so I only left with three here so it comes with the bigger size and a tiny one and a medium one so these are the brush pens that I have and moving on we actually have this calligraphy pen that I um, got I was unboxing this in my previous um, unboxing video um, it comes with actually six different tips that you can change in uh, change to um, I'm still getting used to these tips and how to use this because you have to actually dip them in some ink. I got some ink here, so um, I'll just try and see how that turned out later. And we have a glass pen, so this one is something that I already own for quite some time now. Um, I think this is beautiful, but I have a bad news, I kinda chipped the top of this so I'm not sure if you can see but let me just try to focus on that yep you can see it's actually chipped and it's, it became this very sharp edge and yeah it's still usable it's just that it's going to tear the paper if you're pushing it too hard since it's super sharp but yeah so this is the glass pen and of course um, I have a normal pen that I'm going to be using just to compare and just for fun and another Micron 03 So I usually write quotes and um, inspirational you know, quotes, things like that um, for my letterings and, but today for the sake of demonstrations, let's just go with the um, standard Lauren Ipsum For normal pen, and let's move on to this micron, Pigma micron pen. So let's move on to the brush pen from the smallest one, which is this one, the smallest tip. brush so I'm quite bad with bigger brushes because they're just yep as you can see I have very bad control over them not 
not the best, but looks okay. And of course, we have here the big tumble brush. Let's try my best to, you know, make things work. And as you can see, I'm running out of ink for this one. to now the dipping pens. Start with the glass pen. Next up, we have the dipping pens. Actually, I really like this tip. We have the second tip, which is this one. This has got to be my favorite effect. We're kind of running out of space already. I will move on to the top here. I obviously don't know how to use this one, you guys. It's, this is quite tricky. Oh no, the ink is just overflowing. This is super bad. But, I mean, I think I'll need some time to actually get used to this um, tip. It is quite a unique one, I would say. Let's try again. Oh my god, this is for this kind of fonts, you guys. Okay guys, this is nowhere looking like this, but I think I am getting the hang of it and I shall attempt writing here a good one. So let's try. Obviously there are like little ones like this which I think could work the same. Let's try that out. Thank you. 
I guess that's it for the practice today. I'll definitely practice more using all these tips. Um, and maybe make another video once I'm actually a pro. But for now, let's just head back to trying to write this using these different tips. And finally, we're down to the last tip, so this is it. This is also a, a tough one, you guys. This is definitely not what I'm used to. This is definitely faulty since the tip is actually not flat. You know what? It's fine. I have a uh, still working on the rest. So um, I definitely need more practice with all of these tips. So just a recap: these are the one with the normal pen. This is the one with Micron. These are all the brush pens. Um, all the way here. This is the tumble one. So from here to here, I gotta say my favorite is going to be the first and the second one. Um, the rest, I'm still not very used to uh, using the brushes. So it looks very weird. And we have the glass pen. Um, it looks a little bit weird because of the chip <laughs> at the tip. Um, and the rest are actually all this tips um, calligraphy pen this one yeah so these are all the calligraphy pen the tips that I have this is just the zoom in version of each and every one of them um, I have the glass pen right here and here we have the brush pens um, and then we have the tom tombow pen this is in N15 then we have the micron pen and lastly we have the pentol pen um, this is like my all-time favorite I love using this so much yeah so thank you so much for watching this random video of me just trying out all the different types of pens that I own um, of course we have the normal pen this one is I guess brandless and it's just a gel pen so yeah these are all of my pen and I'm I can't wait to just try practicing all these um, and again as usual I make mess everywhere but yep thank you so much for watching bye